I played Dan Stanton, who was a, a CIA operative. He uh, he runs the interrogation program and then moves back to CIA headquarters at Langley. He's a guy that is, you know, typically a lot of these CIA guys, they're, they're undercover, you know, they're, they're, they're under other, you know, jobs. They're people that are able to morph and change, you know, and, and do the dangerous work that this country requires. And uh, they, they get, a, you know, extraordinary reward, I think, from, from, you know, satisfaction, but it's quiet, nobody knows them. You know, they're out there working, toiling day in, day out. And for Dan, uh, the great thing about playing this character was, you know, yeah, I start on hands on, you know, the wild hair, the beard, you know, out there on, you know, on, on the frontier. And then, you know, I'm, I make a change, slick back the hair, go to Washington, put the suit on and uh, play, a, you know, enter the world of politics. Still very, very sharp as well in terms of, you know, what it's doing, but, it, but a very different way of achieving the results. It was, it was, it was a lot of fun to play that. I mean, these are people that, as an order, you know, as an everyday person, you don't get to meet, or to or to see really, you know, apply the tools of their trade. And the fact that Catherine, you know, has, has drawn us into this world, you know, stuck to the facts, stuck to you know the incredibly detailed research that Mark did, and not you know padded it out with romance or whatever. This is a film about a manhunt and the people that did it. And they are extraordinary people. You know, as actors, you get to meet a lot of different people. And, you know, that's one of the benefits of this job I love. But the audience takes you right in there. I mean, you're sitting on my shoulder as, you know, as, as I buy a Lamborghini, as I sit in a nightclub in Kuwait, you know, as I sit in Washington. And you follow in and you're right there with, with Jess as Maya, you know, on that C-130, you know, when it all comes, it all opens up and comes down as to what she has done and what we've all achieved over 10 years, you know, in finding this needle in the haystack. And, you know, I mean, I think there's something exciting about watching that. We left a very, you know, a small footprint, yeah, I think, which was very important in, you know, we didn't want to be distracted, we didn't want any, any hoopla around us, we wanted to get in there and, and, you know, and tell this story to the best of our abilities and just keep it intense and private, you know, because it's a short turnaround and we wanted that great surprise of like here, here's, here's as creative people, something you know, that, that's, a, that's relevant in the world still going on right now. It's not a retrospective. Um, we shot in India and Jordan and London. I saw the pyramids, I saw Petra, I saw the Taj Mahal. I mean, look, it wasn't all, you know, not just hard and gritty ugly. I rode a motorbike up a mountain with a bunch of monkeys on an old Indian. You know, I travel a lot myself and I love traveling and I've been to you know to Pakistan and I've been to Afghanistan I've been to all different places and to be an actor coming into a job like this as well as a script the other personal side of it is just a it's a joy look the story's just you know it's fascinating we're all part of it you know it's it's like it's it's affected us all you know, I was I was up in China and Pakistan when it all happened. So you know, uh, there's a personal thing in there anyway as an actor to want to do it. And the fact that it is so re you know relevant, you know, it's for me it felt like picking up doing an original production of Hamlet. You know, I was part of something vital and fresh that was Im important and impactful right now, and that is just a, a gift as an actor. Um, my favorite memories are just it's just traveling. You know, is is being in a bus in these exotic locations thinking this is everything I'd ever dreamed about, you know? When I was starting off in drama school and didn't have two cents to rub together. It's just like I, you know, to go, you know, passports, foreignness, you know, going to these different places, meeting these different people, you know, and, and the actors that just kept coming, the people that, that Catherine brought in, you know? It, it just, it kept filling it out every single day. And there was, there was a great, you know, a great community on set. I think they're going to enjoy just being right there every step of the way in what is the greatest manhunt of our lifetimes, you know, and we really take you there. Catherine puts you right there and it's as close as you can get without, you know, without actually doing it yourself.